um, and that's the EFA. So it's nice and easy. Amazing. And it's easy to remember, right? Yeah. So yeah. smart how you um, thought about it from the wrong way around. Yeah, well, reverse learning is one of the things that we do. It's one of the techniques, as you know. And one of the things I learned, um, I don't know if it's from De Bono or Buckminster Fuller, but um, it's always, first of all, try and do the opposite of what everyone's doing. Most of the time, that yeah. will lead to nothing. But sometimes that will lead to a different kind of insight. It's almost you're automatically going to get a different insight. It might be rubbish. You know, just, mm -hmm. beca just because everyone is doing one thing doesn't mean that yeah. they're doing it wrong. It might well be that they're doing it completely right. But you know that you'll get a different insight if you force yourself to have a different starting position. And one of the great ways you can do this is, um, is try and drive home a different way. I know it sounds crazy, but everyone, yeah. everyone falls into these routines. And this, yeah, yeah. if you drive home a different way, you're driving along and you're driving along. And as you get closer and closer to your home, he goes, oh, this is where this comes out. So the good thing is, you know what the end is going to be, which is your home. Mm -hmm. But as a result of forcing yourself to have a different start position, you, you immediately know that you're going to have different sort of journey yeah. or different results. Um, it makes complete sense because I've run. discovered my, yeah, I've discovered some of the most incredible routes. And sometimes I've been like, oh my gosh, this was right here. Yeah. And I've just been like, every time I came, I just took the, the route that was, that was the first one I ever did. Yeah. So for about a year, I lived near my land and I just kept running in the same direction. Never realized that I could take a, a beautiful side road and it w yeah. I would get back to my house, but I just, because it not experimented. Um, so what did cause you to do that experiment? Was it an accident or what happened? <laughs> well, COVID happened. Ah. I had more time. I was like, you know what? I need to explore it. I got a little ah. lost and like, Trying to figure out where I was, and like, oh, this this seems familiar, and so when I was coming back from a, a lost sea kind of run, I, I found a, a new route, and that's so good. So something that De Bono talks about all the time is this idea of a provocation operation, putting yourself in a position where you're provocatively different or mm. new or unusual, yeah. and then from that new and unusual start position, you then you'll end up getting home and discovering these these wonderful things like a another route. Uh, with with, it's, it, with ge geography, geographical things, it's remarkable how often it all we sort just of click. Yeah, you, yeah, absolutely. you just go the same uh, way. There's, there's something just to generalize.